Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since I've done a video, but I wanted to do, while I'm getting this thing clean uh, and getting ready for mowing season here, I wanted to do a video on this Skag Tiger Cat 2 and the year and a half to two years, I believe, I've owned it. Um, kind of go through what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And just to kind of give you some, some eye candy on a Tiger Cat. I know uh, supply chain issues right now, these things are kind of hard to find. So I figured I'd put mine up on YouTube if you guys were considering purchasing one of these and if it's for you. So I'm just gonna kinda ramble on and just show different angles of this thing. Um, I added the quick shoot um, uh, grass door on this last season and I use it quite a lot uh, mowing out here on the street, um, making sure it doesn't blow all the leaves and stuff out of here. And uh, it seems to work pretty good. Um, I will note a couple of things with this. If you're stepping up from a residential mower and you're going into full commercial or I don't know what you call this, semi-commercial, a um, couple of things to note is that they're way dustier. So um, if you're not used to that, like if you're going from a regular riding tractor to one of these, you're going to have a lot more dust than you'd normally be used to. And that's just simply because there's an extra blade, so it's running three blades on this 52 inch velocity deck, uh, three blades instead of two, and a much, much faster tip speed. So your blades are, are really, really flying down there. And because of that, it creates much more of a, a vortex underneath the deck, and it's gotta put that air somewhere, and that air shoots straight out of it. So if you got dry, dusty conditions, not ideal, you know, I got a lot of grass and, and weeds out here. It's really, really dusty. So I run with, um, I've been using this Buddy Breath here, breather, uh, pretty new filters on here. It's a lifesaver and I run these goggles, um, which is a uh, full gasket around. So if you wear contact lenses, these things are a must. So I'll put links, affiliate links down below where you can grab those on Amazon if you're gonna mow. That seems to be the best combo that I've used on this thing. That's my only, you know, that and the size of it. I probably should have got a 42 or a 48 inch deck. A little too big for, for my yard, but that's my biggest complaint about it. It's just dusty. So ex expect to <laughs> be super dirty by the time you're done mowing versus if you were using like a residential um, unit, you're not gonna get as dirty, but uh, other than that, uh, it's definitely a stout machine. I have, and don't laugh, there's only 22 hours on this. Um, it's a lot of mows out here because it mows considerably quicker than a residential unit. Um, you know, but it doesn't have a lot of hours on it for me to really give you a durability test as far as like wearing items go. Uh, it's got the 22 horsepower FS, FX691V, as you can see there in the shot, this Kawasaki engine. Um, some say they uh, think it's underpowered. Uh, it's definitely not. It knows how to put the power down. Uh, I think it'll go 12 or 13 miles an hour um, if you're just driving it down the street to get it from yard to yard. And it really does not give me any fuss in anything. High grass, low grass, wet grass. It keeps tip speed up, prime, and you're able to mow. At a, at a good mowing speed. I don't really use the roll bar. I keep that broken down because I can't get it in and out of my building um, with it up. It is extremely robust, very, very solid. I mean, this machine is extremely heavy. Uh, so that one might be one consideration. If you guys are building a shed, make sure you build a shed stout enough to hold uh, the weight of this thing because it is all just this thick. And this is the thinnest steel they have on here. It's this thick, I mean, it's, look, you can see it's just really solid. It's got a million grease joints on it to manually grease literally every part of the mower. Um, take you around here, you can see some of the linkages and stuff. And this is really what sold me on it. The thickness of the steel, the all the linkages and controls everywhere, the ability to um, be able to grease literally anywhere that the parts move. Um, you, can, you can get a good, uh, greasing on everything. Um, all the hardware and stuff they use is all grade eight. It's very strong, um, solid chains, really just built to take a, a, a beating. Uh, I did a blade change video on my channel and you could see how bad those blades were um, from, from mowing out here in, in the woods. There's a lot of stuff buried out here and it can take it. It doesn't bend the deck. 
nothing. So I've hit bricks, I've hit rebar, I've hit all sorts of stuff with this deck on accident and it just keeps going. This here is the pulley system on it. It uses these thicker pulleys over a, a standard residential unit. Um, real thick pulleys. There's the hydros underneath here. I'll give you a better shot of those in a second. And the hydro filter, which I need to get my hydros uh, oil changed here soon. Um, one thing I will note, this machine is 100%, they say, uh, made in the USA, but made in China. <laughs> <laughs> this pulley here um, and I called them out on it and I asked them about it and they said that they did outsource some of their pulleys and whatnot to China um, so that was a little bit concerning to me because if you're gonna stick a made in the USA badge on here why are you pulling stuff from China but with the supply chain and everything else today I mean I'm sure stuff's got to come from wherever to get out so um, anti-scalp, it's pretty good. Uh, it doesn't have the third wheel here, which I wish it did for the anti-scalp on this deck. Um, that's one thing that would be nice. But, I mean, if you're not going to find, I mean, the X marks are pretty good, but I don't think you're going to find a better cut than the, uh, Velocity deck. That's, this is really what the heart and soul of the machine, and it is solid. And it cuts extremely well and extremely even. Um... What else can I talk about it? These are uh, no flat front tires, which are awesome. Another, I guess I do have another complaint. I really wish uh, they would give you the option to add wheels. These are just Kenda air fill tires and I got a big bougainvillea bush out here on my property and I already have a leak on this tire over here and I need to get it replaced. And I wanted to put wheels on it and can't get a part number from Michelin or from Skag to put wheels on one of these tiger cats they don't offer it so you know the ability to have no flats back here would be a big help um but you know not a deal breaker it's just you got a thorn bush you got to be mindful of stuff like that but the fronts are are no flat and they take a beating you can get on top of curbs and everything else with them and they don't mar up and chip the rubber doesn't chip out um tiger eye 2 is pretty good um i i i mean i know it's a safety thing but um, the one thing I don't like about it is you always have to have the parking brake set to um, really do anything with the mower when you got to get on and off of it. And it's just, to me, an inconvenience. It would be nice to be able to override that, especially when you're on and off the machine so much. But I'm sure the parking brake is a lawyer thing and definitely, you know, is a safety feature that you'd probably want in case you're trying to go too fast and you accidentally run yourself over. So <laughs> that probably wouldn't be a good for the uh brand if people are doing that uh this little um seat adjuster here is pretty good you adjust it by uh just turning this i have it maxed out because the bumps and stuff that are out here by my house on the shock absorber it'll kick your butt when you're mowing at mowing speed so um the more stiffness on that the better this way i get actual shock absorption uh let me take you up here on the computer so you can see that it'll tell you it's ready to start when all of these lights are lit up. So it basically tells you your ass is in the seat, you're in neutral, your parking brake's engaged, and I believe that's battery up, but I'm not sure. I don't know what that is, actually. I gotta look at the manual. I've never needed to know it. Um, here's your PTO over here. Uh, I guess I can fire it up for you. So um, it's got these... Um, nice actual analog gauges that just use a float system inside of the gas tanks. There's a gas tank on each side, which is good. I think it's 15 or 19 gallons. Don't quote me on specs. You guys got to look it up on their website. I'll fire it up for you here. Oh, we're cold engine here. Get a nice idle out of it too.
see that that velocity jack you can just feel the air i mean this thing this thing cuts for sure it's got good room up here um i'm six foot and when your deck is dropped down so if i drop my deck you gotta you gotta push this in like this and then pull this back and then let your leg go but if i'm dropped down my knee is really bent <laughs> so if you're you know you're mowing like this and you're you know chugging along and you got to get your leg back here to lift up the deck for something quick when you bring your leg over here you got an armrest here that's in the way if you're using your armrest which i do so to bring your leg up and to get it on the pedal is not the easiest thing in the world uh, to do quickly because you're going to definitely jam your leg here against the armrest here so that's something to note um it could be a little bit i feel like the body on this could be a little bit longer they could figure out how to get your seat back a little bit to mow with uh, parking brake is here so the parking brake is set to undo the parking brake you just push like that and then the lever here will release and then you're ready to mow to set it just push it pull back and let go of the pedal and then the handle uh, and obviously neutrals here one thing i noticed with these commercial machines that i like that um, the residential stuff doesn't is that all this all the actual levers and controls are metal uh, which is nice they're not plastic and that's really especially convenient if you know not as, not so much if you're hard on your controls but if you come up and you 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 catch a stick or something um, it's not going to snap off your control and render your mower useless so that's one thing i like about it is everything's solid the the buttons and stuff that the like this is a neutral engagement switch right here this tells the computer that it's a neutral all these are, um, are rubber wrapped nice gaskets nice uh, cord uh, sh and sheathing on the wires um, just a nice you know nice fit and finish everywhere you can really see and this thing is pretty dirty it doesn't it's not a garage queen I just wanted to give it a good bath before the season starts then I'm using it all the time, try to take care of it. There's the oil reservoir for the hydros. This is an engine cover. Goes up here. Just, you know, I think it's more for aesthetics than anything else. But maybe if something fell on it, it wouldn't hit your engine. To lift up the seat, you grab this lever back here and pull up. That exposes the hydros and you can work on everything. You got plenty of room. And here to get to your battery which i haven't had any issues with on this machine which is another big advantage over a residential machine all your looms are nice see everything is really just taut nothing kind of flapping in the breeze anywhere got big fans on the hydros these are 12 cc pumps um what else can i say about it i mean it's just solid you guys are thinking about buying one of these i do not hesitate i mean honestly it's overkill for me especially since um, my yard's shrinking because I'm adding an addition on my house, I might be might be getting rid of it. Not sure. Definitely don't need this much power. But anyways, guys, long enough video. Hopefully this helps you out. And uh, yeah, like it if you like it. And I'm going to try to get some more videos out here soon. So thanks for watching.